Good morning. There it is. Hello, everybody. Welcome to your cup of coffee with key. We have my co host, Scott Craig, national sales manager for the northern United States with us. How are you, Scott? I am just lovely this morning. It's you, not you, snowing. It's it's not snowing today, so that's a good thing. Yeah, first day in a while, huh? Well, everything looks uh, just beautiful there on your virtual background. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And no warm. snow in the background now. <laughs> and uh, speaking of snow and cold climates, we are pleased to be joined today, direct from Moscow, Russia. Uh, this is Andre Kulikov of Simple Distribution. Privet, Andre. Oh, uh, hi. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Hi, Jonathan. Hey, yes, um, yes, have coffee as well. Yes, perfect. Well. And uh, so we're coming to you live. It's nine fifteen ish uh, New York time. And what time is it in Moscow right now? Uh, it's uh, five fifteen. Five fifteen. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you're spending yeah. time after <laughs> normal work hours with us. Uh, the the coffee won't keep you awake too late. <laughs> uh, you know that's fine. Coffee is always good. <laughs> good man so um we have a tradition on coffee with key um my nickname of the show is jonathan triple espresso fairy because that's what i drink <laughs> is triple espresso we got okay. scott key did uh, scott is uh light uh, and yeah. sweet yeah i gotta change it real quick so one thing real quick we gotta drop in that uh, unfortunately uh, uh one of the fab three is missing today so Dwayne was unable to join us due to a prior commitment um so unfortunately he's taking care of another matter tcb taking care of business but uh, exactly yeah. and what about so andre what is your coffee of choice like how do you drink it I think if, if I if I talk to the guys from the American company to digital, so I should be Andre uh, Americano. <laughs> <laughs> Great answer. Great answer. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> that's that's a good way to take it. Truly, that's what I do also. Yeah. My my triple espresso has uh, some extra hot water in it. I uh, you know yeah. just so that it doesn't all go down in under one minute. I need to let it go throughout the morning at least. <laughs> well, okay. Guys, at the very beginning, I would like to say thank you to you, to the Key Digital, that uh, offered the possibility to talk to you about technical details, about the uh, Key Digital gear that we sell for, I don't know, about six and a half years. It's a really long time for us, and we sold very much all, all the equipment that you, uh, you manufacture, we uh, even install it. We help the dealers to start with that. We help to configure it in the in the office, just for them to go to the uh, installation to the site and say, "Look, it works okay." Or just uh, give technical details to the dealers when they ask. I don't know some problems, some uh, complicated things, or even I don't know, simplify things. Kind of. I don't know how to how to change the IP address. I don't see it in the web browser and so on. Yeah. So thank you very much for that. It's really um, cool for me to talk to you. It's it's cool for you to join us. We're really yeah. happy to have you. Um, uh, Scott uh, is really you know the one who's kind of um, the ringleader when it comes to our webcasts. And one thing that we've always wanted to do is just have more guests on. We find that our viewership numbers uh, are always higher when we have other guests, uh, people promoting it in, in addition to us. Um, and hearing other perspectives is is really um, what it's all about because we're not just trying to do like a marketing campaign here. Okay. We're, we're, we want the real perspective. And I've always admired um, the Russian, um, uh, the feedback we get from our partnerships with you, Andre, and your colleagues and your integrators. We really thank them uh, for, for their feedback because um, it really allows us to, to just you know, make a product that's uh, more um, uh, compatible with the equipment used all over the world. And and I personally, I really, uh, you know, again, I'll use the word admire. I admire the, uh, the integrators in Russia. I find that they're very well educated, very technical. Um, they're, they're like working with engineers 
and uh, and 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 it's um, it's a little uh, different um, uh, customer base than what we sometimes have in the U.S. Um, just education wise, and so so it's always a great perspective, and uh, we really you know it's a very um, it's a beneficial thing for us to to have this discussion and. And, uh, and yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad this is our first international guest, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, Andrew, I, Thank you. so, so he wins. So like, uh, like yesterday, it's just interesting to see a different point of how another market, you know, that we, I mean, we know about that market, but to hear it from you and that com yeah. uh, conversation that we were having yesterday is like, was so interesting. Of yeah, how yeah. you know it's like we're stuck in between the lines, and it's uh, like you never think about other, you know, we do. But when you hear it directly from a dealer, or distributor, you know, um, it's interesting. It's great. I mean, this has yes, been a big thing. I, I can I can give uh, several uh, explanations how our market works. I mean, a market on commercial side, and um, uh, in Russia, it's a bit <clears throat> it's a bit different. As far as I know, in, in the United States, by commercial market, you mean horeca, that means hotels, casinos, restaurants, governmental, and uh, I don't know, um, restrooms, uh, trade centers, hospitality, and so on. In Russia, it's a really different market because governmental mostly is not connected with, I don't know, trade centers. Mm -hmm. The mental market is just stays apart, and it's uh, very di difficult to go there to have business with them. Uh, that's why in Russia, when we say about commercial market, mostly it's about restaurants, it's about uh, I don't know trade centers, it's about uh, sometimes hospitality. Yes, but. <laughs> But a governmental market really it's, it's it's rather big, but not so many companies work uh, can work there because uh -huh. due to diff some difficulties. Uh, but we, we wouldn't like to just say you know to, 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 ex to explain a lot about that. Um, I can tell you that uh, a lot of our dealers, our company mostly works on residential, but anyway we try to go to commercial as well. We have dealers that do commercial. We have dealers that do residential all the time and sometimes commercial. They have clients that have, I don't know, restaurants, they have some cafes, they, I don't know, uh, have, I don't know, fitness centers. And say, okay, can you do some uh, video wall in my fitness center? And really, um, really big uh, quality, quantity of dealers they have. Can you help me in commercial? Because I don't know complicated programs. I don't know this huge and difficult and very uh, sometimes weird commercial market. I need mm -hmm. some simple solution I can handle, and I would like that you help me. I say, okay, done. We can help you. We have Key Digital. Uh, the gear is really simple in um, configuration with our help as well. And just give me your technical uh, details, some, I don't know, uh, or wishes of end client and so on. So give me some information, we can start. And that's all. Uh, sometimes dealers say, well, okay, I know, uh, I don't know oh, oh, a lot of brands on the commercial market. Yeah. Uh, I have a project. I started it. I just, I don't know, fill, fill, the, fill the table. I have specification. But what about Key Digital? Can he give me something? Can he give? I, I know it's very good. I know it have uh, HDMI uh, connotation, uh, IP um, uh, HDMI over IP system, and so. Okay. Yes. Okay. And just I would like to uh, to, to show you some some last project. It's uh, it's really uh, just in the line. So dealer is on, is on the project. Okay. I will just share it. Fantastic. Uh, okay. Just give me a second. Can you see it? Yes, we see it now. Yeah, this is a scheme. Um, so this this one is a switch four by one, but <laughs> but after that it was matrix eight by eight. 
because the project began bigger and bigger and bigger. And you know, it, it, it was not, it wasn't possible to use, uh, for example, uh, this switch that I have in our, in our demo. Just a second. Wow. Yeah. I, I don't know if, if people see that because yes. I switched to we see I, your equipment now. Yes. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yes. So we had to, we had to use switch eight by eight, a lot of HDBST extenders, uh, some another equipment, key digital splitters, and so on, just to make a very flexible uh, connection to that. And I can tell you, uh, I can show you some. Yeah, can you see it? Oh wow! Yeah. So this is nice. Data. This is in uh, Saint Petersburg. Uh, this is one of the uh, company that has uh, their their own conference hall. This co company, uh, I don't really know the, the name and what they do, but they are really big. You can see here, and on the right the here is the home of Key Digital. <laughs> this is a home of Key Digital. Yeah, this is a nice looking uh, conference hall. And I can tell you that um, if you ask me about um, uh, about projects in Russia, uh, mostly our dealers and, and clients, they ask for big systems. I mean, like this uh, conference hall. That, that means that they need, I don't know, metrics, IP, uh, Nine, uh, 922 or 822 and it's it's really difficult to go there with a uh, not very big and simple uh, switch kind of UPS 52 that I have in demo or I don't know UFS uh, 42. I explain if you have hardware room and so on but say can you give me a big matrix can you give me IP 922 I don't know uh, 15 by I don't know for, for for 13 we need we need flexible flexible solution yeah so uh, th this is just the, the the last project that we have uh, by the way I just um, understood that I forgot to explain uh, to tell to tell you about our demo uh, because uh, if if I if I want to sell key digital to our dealers and explain to them how it can uh, can work I should have a demo uh, with the equipment that really works. When I, I phone you and ask, Jonathan, could you please help me? I can't start this, and I can't handle it. That means that I connected myself. I have some problems because few of that problems dealers could also have, and I should be ready for that. So I connect everything. And um, uh, I think I will stop demonstration here and return back. Return back. So um, here is equipment we have. This is uh, UPS 52 switch. This is um, 220. This is uh, USB uh, USB extend USB extender and uh, USB cam that makes uh, all the video for, for for me. So you see me from K Digital. <laughs> uh, the cam. I can't show it to you, but still, you should believe it is, <laughs> and yeah. so on. So I can figure all the um, gear here for myself, and we use key digital uh, gear to uh, to do video calls to our dealers, uh, to uh, our colleagues that work from home. Because I go to office. Uh, more or less, but some of our um, uh, co-workers, they just work from home uh, for uh, making uh, good uh, communication between us. We just phone to them. We can go, I don't know, to three or four people, just ask questions, I don't know, explain what we do at the moment. We can, uh, I don't know, explain some, some difficult things we would like to handle in the company and we use key digital. It, it all it always worked here. I just moved this uh, this uh, gear on the table beneath me just to show you <laughs> that that it really works. Uh, I, can, I can press the buttons and you will see that the sources can change and so on. But you should just believe to me. So uh, key digital really helps us because if we wouldn't have uh, your equipment in our hardware room, well, for sure we can use our 
PCs uh, to, 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 to make the Zoom calls, but the resolution is rather low and it doesn't have so much possibilities. And, you know, uh, very often uh, our guys, I don't know, they had to see uh, three or two of them, uh, one, one image on the big screen and all of their uh, small uh, PC screen. Yeah, that's all. Hey. Hey, Andre, one thing, uh, and I'll, I'll leave it nameless, as that drawing that you showed, uh, there was one particular item on that drawing listed going into your switcher that is uh, a great segue into uh, a solution that we have now. Um, so uh, I'm going <laughs> to let Jonathan kind of jump in and start here, and we'll just kind of show sure. this to you, uh, because I don't think we've personally taken the time to go over our new uh, BYOD 4K with you. Yeah, that yeah. was that was really insightful to see the drawing, to see how it started out as, it's so funny, <laughs> it went to eight by eight, because that was actually originally our S four by one X. It's yes. our most, our, 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 our most cost-effective four by one switcher. Um, not the pro model, <laughs> not the presentation switch, but then it advanced to the matrix and um, that, that's a similarity between U.S. and Russia, then, I think. <laughs> the jobs uh, always start off, oh, we only need this, and then they get yes. bigger and bigger. Yeah. And, um, and, you know, I think that um, with, uh, with, with the integrators relying on you and relying on the manufacturer to really deliver a system that is user-friendly, reliable, um, high quality, et cetera. Uh, as Scott said, there was a, a product in there that, um, that maybe, uh, maybe, maybe at the time of the drawing, we didn't have our product release, but now we have our own bring your own device. It's called mm -hmm. KD play. This is our own wireless presentation gateway. Um, and, uh, and for the integrators that have used, uh, our product now, and the other product or products that are already out there in the industry that have been doing it for some time. Yes, we have a product that's really fantastic. Cool. Uh, and uh, yeah, and uh, so actually one of the main things people ask if they've worked with one of the other products out there is what is it like when it plays video? So, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick demo of the KD BYOD 4K as a uh, uh, doing video. Scott, can you go ahead and spotlight my, um, my video? I'm gonna go ahead and start mirroring. We see it on the screen. Oh, I see, I see me. <laughs> okay. And we're, we're doing the time warp here, but uh, one moment. Okay, so guys, uh, how does it look right now? You can see the hockey game? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, give me just one moment to turn down the volume on the screen behind me. Sorry. All right. One moment. I forgot about this part. It's one of the best things about okay. live broadcast. <laughs> of course. Okay. There we go. Okay. Uh, so I'm not blocking the screen with my big head right now, am I? No, you're good. Okay. No. Here's just a simple, uh, so, you know, if, if you've ever done a presentation with the other system before, even if you have animations in your PowerPoint, they just, it looks so blocky in other popular uh, wireless presentations. So here is, you know, another similarity between US and Russia, ice hockey, okay? Yeah. And uh, so here is... Uh, a great moment from the 2021 season. Uh, Yegor Sharangovich, his first NHL goal. Let's roll it. See, it's going to go full screen. Now, how's that looking? With 1.7 seconds left on the clock in overtime, his first <laughs> NHL goal. Yeah. And uh, you want that to look good. <laughs> Yeah, you want that to look you don't you don't want to miss the the passing uh, that's going to happen here as we see the replay. We'll just let this go for another second or two here to show the the, the replay. This uh, young player, his first first uh, goal in the NHL. This is all important content, of course, 
Uh, maybe it helps that I'm a New Jersey Devils fan, but uh, let's see. I'm sure they'll they'll break to the replay uh, any second now. So uh, come on, boys, let's see it. But how how do you uh, send the the video? So here we are. Uh, so watch this. Uh, first pass is a bank shot uh, off of the walls behind the back. No look pass to Sharon Govich who nets yeah. the game winner. So there we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, really cool. Yeah, yeah. So uh, how do we, uh, let me go ahead and stop my screen share one moment. Uh, so how do we, how do we cast the video? The question yes. is, right? That was my question. Yeah. <laughs> so it's all over Wi-Fi. Um, so Scott, uh, I guess actually, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick uh, screen share now, in fact, so I, I don't think you'll have to do anything mm -hmm. for me. Uh, just stand by. Come on. Okay. The thing that's crazy is that was that whole entire thing was all about timing. So, uh, Andre, so you know, me and John are both big hockey fans, but we have two totally different <laughs> teams that we root for. But that that was amazing. That wasn't it. What what a play. Oh, yeah. What yeah. a play. All right. So I'll go ahead and just kind of assume presenter mode here and uh, oh, I see. we'll uh, pretend this is more or less like uh, an actual conference room. I'm casting right now from the KD play. So, so how does KD play work? So you guys previously saw on my screen, um, you got the, uh, the, the home screen of the, um, your instructions on the screen there um, and how it works. It's all over Wi-Fi. So actually KD play, uh, the uh, BYOD 4K is the uh, gateway. And we see it has the two network ports. Um, I'm actually able to get this installed up and running in like five to 10 minutes flat if I wanted, because it is also its own wireless um, access point. So if uh, there's two ways of using it, one is I could plug it into an existing network on these network ports here, or I could just plug in the HDMI to the television, plug in the power supply, and now BYOD is its own, uh, it'll be its own Wi-Fi network that anyone that wishes to present can go ahead and connect into that network or uh, join our network and begin casting. So we have the on-screen instructions and it will either tell you to go ahead and connect the USB. Uh, this is KD BYOD FD, like flash drive. Um, this is included one per uh, system. And uh, you could also purchase them separately. And you see right on, the, um, on that uh, flash drive, it is a, uh, it's, it's a aluminum uh, flash drive. So it's like very heavy duty. And we have the opening for you to put like some kind of tag or key ring. If you want to make sure that this is uh, stays in the room or it's assigned to a specific person, it doesn't have a risk of being thrown into somebody's briefcase as sometimes accidentally may may occur. Once you're on the screen, um, and we'll do a quick demo. Uh, we just really wanted this to be as easy as possible for people, uh, as simple as possible, if you will, uh, if you don't mind me making a pun, uh, Andre, since you're with Simple Distribution. Yes. Um, and, uh, you know, we've been doing our control system, Compass Control, for eight years. We've learned so much about what should be an effect or how to do an effective end user interface, just simple, simple, simple. So this is what shows up on their screen once they either connect the flash drive and they don't have to install any software whatsoever. It'll auto launch our uh, KD Play app for the PC or the Mac. Or if they do, if they don't have the flash drive, they could just join, the, uh, they could uh, type in the IP address in the browser and, uh, and uh, I'll show you what that looks like. And they could get our software from our unit itself. And then they might have multiple uh, uh, KDBYOD 4K devices. So you could give them all a name like training room, conference room, room 200, room 300. You could have multiple devices on your network and you could choose which one you want to cast oh. into entering the password, uh, which is of course adjustable based in the uh, security settings. And once you're connected, you have to press this 
start mirroring button here and uh, to begin throwing your content, casting your content to the screen. If you have an iOS device, it's just through AirPlay and Android has its own KD Play app that you get from the Google Play Store, which looks exactly like what we see on the, uh, on the, uh, in the uh, PC Mac software. Um, so how it works here, uh, you could, uh, you, on your HDMI output, you could even have multiple presenters. So actually, uh, just to go ahead and you know skip to a uh, demo, I'll go ahead now and um, begin screen mirroring where I see the device in my uh, Apple, in my screen mirroring options. And uh, we go ahead and we can begin casting to the KD BYOD and it automatically adjusts. We can have see, one, yeah. two side by side, three with one on the top, two on the bottom, or four in quadrants as we see pictured there. Um, I'll go ahead and stop mirroring now. For, that's all just done over AirPlay. Um, and of course, because it's HDMI, this is right in our, uh, this is exactly what we do at Key Digital for over 20 years now, of course. So this is an application. We could use the KDPS22 UTX, for example. It's a transmitter two by one switcher. So, mm. uh, so now at the, if we have a conference room or classroom that needs to have a wired option and a wireless option for presenting, this is the perfect solution for that. And because PS22 UTX has auto switching, uh, it will just oh. uh, uh, return to the wireless gateway if nobody's plugged in on the HDMI. Um, no. Here's another really popular application. This is the uh, dual monitor setup that a lot of rooms are asking for these days. Why do they wanna have dual monitors? So that the presenter can have their presentation Maybe, for example, they're showing the yearly sales figures or the quarterly sales figures, and they need to um, <clears throat> involve through any video conferencing software they want, like Zoom, Google Team, or uh, uh, Microsoft Teams, Google uh, Hangouts, etc. Um, they want to have the remote employees, the uh, the uh, the outside employees, joining through through a video conference, and you want to see their face on the screen in a large mm. screen so that you know uh, how they're receiving that information, right? And so here we have um, an example of on the KD Play, one of the few settings we give the user to have access to, we don't wanna make it too complicated, it's gotta be simple. They just hit a checkbox for extended monitor. Now mm. when they connect the HDMI from their laptop, it goes to one of the screens they and the other screen is wirelessly casted as we're showing here. Um, so the, here's a little more about, remember I mentioned earlier, um, you could plug this in or uh, yeah, just plug it in HDMI to your monitor and power, power it up and it's its own access point uh, for the PC, Mac, Android or uh, iOS device to join. Uh, or we have here the dual LAN port. So this is how most of professional installers are using it, they want KD Play to join a network. Why? So that any employee or guest that's on the Wi-Fi can see the device on the network. Uh, when they open the KD Play software, they see that this is a available device for them to connect to and ultimately cast. And uh, why do we have two LAN ports? Well, one of them is you got PoE, which is very, it's a fantastic benefit with PoE. Uh, you don't need to have the power supply connected, but sometimes you have a guest network and you have a staff network. And for security reasons, you don't want your guests to have access to the staff yes. network. Well, here yes. you could connect uh, the network wire to each of those two networks and you'll be able to join the KD Play so you could present wirelessly uh, without having to give the guest, your maybe your vendor who's in your office that day, you don't have to give them the Wi-Fi password and potentially create a security risk. So, uh, so this is just one of the, 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 this is just kind of an example of the, the thought process that goes in to a device like this from us that's been really, really, people love this feature. Um, here's what it looks like in the web UI. And uh, um, you know, it's uh, in fact, um, let's see here. If I go ahead and uh, head back to my web browser, 
let's just uh, 10 0 0 2 13. I'll show you firsthand exactly what it looks like. And huh. I see the IP address on my uh, home screen. So um, I'll go ahead and stop casting now. Let me, uh, here's my KD Play app. So here it is. And see, I'm connected. I'll just show you real quick that extended monitor, aspect ratio lock, volume, and the stream mode uh, with the muting option. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stop mirroring here. And of course you guys could still see what's happening on my computer. Um, so here's what I would see if I didn't have that, um, the instructions there. Uh, so um, Scott, uh, catch me if I'm, if I'm not uh, doing this correct here, but I think right now I'm zoomed in on the KD Play screen. And uh, if I want to see things, the instructions, this is uh, what we refer people to. Just plug in the flash drive and it'll auto launch. Mm. And uh, sorry, yeah, uh, I'll go back. Here's the, here's the instructions. And then here's the uh, auto launch. We, we, we emphasize this one. This is uh, you know, the priority. Uh, so people just know, plug this in. You don't have to install a thing. Or mm -hmm. just type in that IP address. And so it knows the IP address of the unit. And you could type that in in your web browser. And hopefully this is simple enough because we just make it one, two, three. You know, open your web browser, type in this IP address, and press download. And as we see on my actual computer here, either for Windows or Mac, and um, the other uh, settings are if you have iOS device, just do screen casting, or if you have uh, Android, download the app. Um, okay, Scott, I think we'll head back to me now. You guys can see my face. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, now let's say I am doing that initial setup uh, and I am getting it on the network. We just enter the admin uh, menu here and um, type in that password, default is admin. Uh, here's where we could choose either, we're gonna do wireless uh, Wi-Fi direct mode, uh, or we're gonna join another network that's existing. Um, <clears throat> once we join, what happens is, um, if I'm in that LAN connect mode, what we do is we scan the network to find <laughs> what um, what network name should people join? So we scan. We're not a Wi-Fi bridge. We're uh, so you need the hardwire into our unit. But this is how we scan so that we could show the user what network they need to be on or networks. What are the names of those networks? Yeah. So and and additionally, the password here. When you plug in the KD Play Flash. Even if you're on a different network, it will automatically jump you into that network um, and so that you can begin presenting. So you don't even have to jump networks with the KD Play Flash, in fact. Um, and uh, syncing that thumb drive, that flash, is super simple. So uh, I guess maybe I'm going into a little bit, uh, a lot of details here, but uh, you know, I, as I mentioned before, I know in Russia, they have a really uh, <laughs> high level engineer, so uh, they might want to see this. You could either do DHCP or you could do uh, static IP for your LAN 1, your LAN 2. Display and audio, this is just your output resolution. Um, and you have audio output, picture quality for airplay, on-screen displays. Um, home screen background, I could actually put a custom image in here if you'd like it to be like the logo of the uh, organization or company that might be uh, that this might be deployed at. Um, system settings. Uh, here we have the devices that are currently connected. So for example, this uh, KD Play Flash, this is the other laptop that I have behind me. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit play here. And so this is this is actually like the admin being able to do these things. Cool. Yep. Uh, we'll hit stop. And actually, I'll show you more about that in a moment. Um, here's the uh, oops uh, time settings, auto standby, 
Okay, uh, factory restore security. This might be of concern there. There's three levels of security for the BYOD. So basically uh, from level one to level two, um, we go into like with AirPlay, you can't just automatically cast. You'll have to enter a pin just like you would have with most of your Apple TVs now, for example. Um, and we apply AES encryption. Uh, with level three, we, um, we uh, uh, make it so that Android and AirPlay devices can't cast to it. Instead, it would just be a PC so nobody could do anything funny from their phone. And we allow you to or disable the firmware downgrade so that people can't roll back firmwares if needed. Um, login password, that's like your admin thing. Firmware update is actually done automatic or there's an auto update um, or you could do it this way. So, uh, so if we push a new firmware, it happens uh, between uh, midnight and 4 a.m. Maybe it's midnight and 2 a.m. in the local time zone. So, uh, so that's why those time settings are important. And, uh, and that's really it. I mean, the, the user interface here is just really, really fantastic. Um, I'd like now uh, to, I'm going to stop my share. I just want to demonstrate another thing that I find uh, that, that's just such a cool feature that we didn't even talk about yet. Um, this is the last one, which is annotation. Um, this is also an annotation device. So in fact, if I... Um, We'll show you firsthand. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's pull this out. Uh, I'm gonna unplug my headphone. Scott, can you say hi to me real quick? Can you hear me, Jonathan? Yes, okay, I hear you. Great, thank you. And I'm gonna stand a little bit further away from my microphone. So uh, forgive me for this. But um, so if I, um, so the first thing I wanna show you guys is um, if you guys could see the uh, my my computer over here, just want to show you how the KD Play Flash works. So in fact, let me zoom in on this. Okay, there we are. So I'm going to now take this uh, KD Play Flash, and I'm just going to plug it in. And within a few seconds, we see the folder opens and the software uh, go, goes ahead and uh, opens and it connects, it finds the device on the network as we see it going right now. It will connect to that device, but it doesn't begin mirroring until you press the start mirroring button. So that's it. It's so, it's so simple. Um, oh. So now that we've, it's so simple that um, it's so simple that it actually, um, uh, uh, you know, it does everything for you. It just takes a few seconds and all you need to do really is just press that start mirroring because we don't want to cast your content if you're not ready for that. So uh, here we are now. And the next thing I want to demonstrate, okay, we see I'm casting on the screen is um, I'm going to take a USB mouse, okay? So we could see the uh, little uh, flicker here of the, the mouse. Uh, oh wait, I'm not yet connected with my thumb drive. That's right. <laughs> I take this and, and I go ahead and connect it in to my KD Play Flash. And now what I'm able to do is um, mouse forwarding. So I could take my mouse and if I come over here and I can close. So I could click on any computer here that's casting. And in fact, now what I'm going to do, sorry for hopping all over guys, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast from my Zoom computer, um, standby. And we're gonna have two screen mirror sessions going, right? Okay, and I now, um, take my mouse and I can click on any computer. So let's say I want to open a new tab and just go over to the other and open a new tab here, right? Or go to my desktop. So I can actually do uh, mouse forwarding, we call that. 
So if you have mm. a mouse that's sitting on the conference table and you, uh, a mouse and a keyboard, I should say, and you want to begin, um, and you want to uh, have, you know, to emphasize as people collaborate and show multiple content at the same time, you could actually, uh, you know, have one person that's able to, to do these things. Now, um, I also want to go ahead and let's say, for example, this user is the one we want to focus on right now. On the right side of my screen here, uh, let's see. Okay, on the, on the right side of my screen is the moderator panel. And I could go ahead and close or uh, press stop on one of those. And let's say we really like something that's going on here. We could open up the annotation tools at the bottom of the screen. Uh, let's see here. Is that zoomed in a little more, guys? Yeah, you can yeah, see yeah. that. Yeah. Wonderful. I see everything. So let's say I want to emphasize right here the interactions of matter and especially these questions. Now, what I've just done is I've turned my standard display into a smart board, into an interactive board. Now, of course, what is USB or what is a touchscreen is just like a USB mouse, isn't it? And so if this were actually a smart board, I, of course, don't need to use my mouse for that. But instead, we, uh, we could go ahead and... Um, we could go ahead and uh, you know just touch on the screen, for example. But with these annotation tools, now what I'm able to do. So let's go ahead and say, all right, this is an important important part of what we're doing. I could press save. Let me go back in. I'll uh, cancel this real quick and do that one more time for everybody. Here in the annotation tools at the bottom, um, I could save this. I can either enter the IP address um, in the browser on my computer, or I can go ahead and save, save this image that's come up. Are you guys able to see that okay? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and I could download this image. So these are just some of the really, really uh, cool features that we have here. Let me press exit. And I'll go ahead now. And just to show you one more thing, we'll go full screen on this or we'll uh, go side by side. So this is what we call the moderator panel. And uh, if I go ahead now, and cast from my iPhone as well as my iPad. You'll be able to see all four of the screens at once here. And uh, it's really just that easy. So <laughs> it, it, the, the, the video quality is one thing that's a huge selling point on this. The, 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 the actual streaming video. Um, and then the other, you know, you just see all these other features here that are really so fantastic. So let me go ahead now. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead to display an audio. What do we got? HDMI on screen. I forget which one where I went to do these. Here's my iPhone. I was trying to just get the uh, home screen back up. So I'll just do it this way. <laughs> or remember where you left off. <laughs> yeah. A lot going on, isn't there? Yeah. And here we are back on the Zoom. So, like Andre, like, like one of the, the cool features of this is I, I have a dealer that uh, is still allowing people to come in the office, but they're in their independent uh, sections, but they all need to meet together. So in this particular office, there's a BYOD. They can all go through and see it on a display. Um, it's a BYOD, sorry, BYOD on an AV over IP. So they can select that BYOD for separate users in this office and collaborate together. 
but not and still have their distancing and safe features and everything else and be able to go through collaborate annotate and everything else so there's you know multiple different solutions uh and, and options bells and whistles you know that was one thing that we wanted to talk to you about you know knowing that you had your own little go-to in another scenario <laughs> so you know we wanted to uh you know bring that on uh, on board with you guys that, that's really interesting to me because i didn't see how it works i just saw some information on your site but you know it's not really clear but now you've done a very very cool presentation how it really works jonathan thank you very much I know how difficult it's to uh, make real time presentations uh, to a kind of useful um, functionality. Not the functionality that it has, but useful. How uh, end clients, how the dealer just can, can uh, present and uh, to show. I have several questions on the uh, equipment. Uh, can, I, can I just uh, ask you several questions? Yes, please, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you you told um, you told that you've uh, done uh, keyboard and mouse forwarding. Yes. Do you understand right that uh, four person uh, can use four keyboards and mouse and can do simultaneous? Um, uh, um, I, I don't know. Can just uh, put some marks on, on all the four uh, screens or not? How 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 this um, I don't know how this policy works. Are there any priorities? Uh, I know only one person can do marks and all the three other cannot. How did you do that? So that is done with, um, I'm gonna do a screen share one more time, Scott. Um, stand by, okay. Um, okay, thank you. So uh, the the screen or the, the the annotation you guys see my screen now yes yeah. yep okay. so um, there's only uh, there's three different USB plugins possible uh, they're all you know they all have the same functionality you just got a 3.0 port 2.0 and USB C so there's not anything specific about it so let's say you just connect your USB mouse into one port and the keyboard into another port uh, uh, okay. Yep, and so it's 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 really straightforward, you know. Now I also mentioned. Uh, so so what does that mean though? That means there's just one mouse. You know what I mean? There's only one person who could make the notes. Uh, it happens based on what's plugged into the BYOD 4K unit itself, and um, so I mentioned about an interactive board. Um, so that of course is just a USB connection from the uh, touch screen into the BYOD 4K. And uh, yeah, just whatever kind of, uh, or wh whatever is on the screen. If it's just one full image, then you just see, uh, then you're clicking and your, your keyboard will apply to one, uh, uh, the, the one computer. Now, uh, but if you have side by side like I did, then it just whatever you've clicked in is what the keyboard would apply to. Now, um, this example is our X USB 2, which Andre, that's exactly the USB extender that you're using for our camera. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, you think about it, just everything integrates so well together. And um, I will say one thing, I just uh, had a really important meeting yesterday and somebody said, can you click the mouse in the iPad? And unfortunately that did not work. Uh, uh. IOS, iOS and tablets and phones are not, um, they're not like mouse uh, HID devices. So oh, really? uh, yeah, yeah. So only uh, computers, uh, PC, Mac computers uh, support the, the but uh, the annotation, yeah. annotation works fine. Just you can't do the mouse forwarding like, uh, like we had there. But you can get, and I'll show real quick, uh, mm -hmm. a, a uh, different okay. way of doing it. Okay. Is, I'm press stop. Um, you can get feedback though. You know what I mean, Jonathan? So you can't particularly yeah. activate that like you were saying. Um, but give me one second. I'm gonna sure. prep something real quick that I wanted to show Andre. Yeah, Scott has a... Uh... A similar setup. I'm showing mine on the screen. We thought it'd be really cool to do it two different ways. 
Scott's um, has a uh, USB capture device. So instead of the HDMI output connecting into his monitor, his television, he's got it connecting into his computer. So it's uh, into the capture device. HDMI becomes USB like a USB camera. So uh, uh, it, it, correct me if I'm wrong there, Scott, but I think that's what he's getting set up right now for yep. his demo. I'm going to disappear for a second. <laughs> Now you've completely disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Actually, it is the USB capture. Uh, I see yeah. the, the the little arrows to the right. So that's yeah. your um, yeah. your USB device or your uh, one, of, one of the cool features device. about being uh, live. <laughs> There. I can tell you that it's a really important feature when you uh, would like to do some uh, presentation or you know kind, kind of live conference and would like to uh, make real time records to Facebook, to YouTube, to I don't know whatever um, whatever sites that you would like to share uh, what you do uh, for different uh, audience. Because some go to Facebook, the other go to uh, to, to some other um, uh, sites. That's, one really that. That's a really good point. We're um, and this video, uh, of course, will be on our Facebook uh, uh, page. But then also we're going to post it to our YouTube channel, and I believe that our uh, colleagues are maybe even posting it right now to Instagram and Twitter as well. We always try to. Uh, work out the multiple platforms, but um, yeah, yeah, it, it, it goes to Instagram because uh, one of your show I saw just in the Instagram. I don't know, but just by chance, look yeah. at Instagram. Oh, Key Digital, oh, they have a show. Oh, okay, let's uh, let's watch. It. Oh wow, there. nice. Really? That's it's working then, Scott. Yes, look yeah. at this. This is great. So you're so, wirelessly casting. Go ahead, Scott. Yeah. So real quick, one of the things uh, Jonathan was pointing out is uh, how proud we are with the overall graphics and images and everything else so um i basically just have my regular uh android phone okay broadcasting out to the byod the byod i am capturing that hdmi output and going through and putting into a zoom call okay so you're using that as a camera device as my secondary but <clears throat> basically the overall image Real time, there's about a half a second delay just because of the airplane of me on my Android phone over. But the overall detail of everything else of this, just a, a game that's my decompression time. Hey, Scott, um, are you able to pin this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. One second. No, no, that's good because it, it looks fantastic and I think it'll look even better in full screen. There we are. Scott, Scott I have a short question. Uh, does Ooh. it have any delay? Uh, when you show uh, this this nice game, I know probably this is 4K game. Yeah, from from me from me when I'm playing the game and I'm physically looking at my phone, and if I was to look at the screen, there's a, about a half a second delay. So if I was going back and forth and looking at everything, you know, I was trying to time it, I would be off by like a hair. So mm. it's maybe gotcha. a half a second you know what i mean like if yeah. i was watching the screen i mean but it's minor but the overall graphics and everything else but that could also that's be, not just the the uh the 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 casting that's also the usb capture isn't it so there's kind correct of like two so factor on that you have the delay of the capture yeah okay and everything else on there but i mean it's you know i mean i don't know how many applications you would utilize this in well you know, you know what i've done I've actually done exactly this, Scott. That's so funny. Wow, what an amazing demonstration of the video uh, <laughs> frame rate. That's just so cool. Um, I've done exactly this. Oh man, I might have the picture in fact. Um, holy smokes, let's see here. I, um, I'm an ice hockey fan as uh, you guys may have uh, deduced just from the, uh, the, the, the video that we showed earlier um where do we got it here okay so um i 
Where is it? Okay, give me, oh, I see it. One more second, sorry. Uh, I did exactly this thing, Scott, when doing a, um, a hockey viewing party mm -hmm. with uh, some friends the other day. Um, we did, uh, so we did, uh, we were watching ice hockey and okay, uh, the, I don't know if this is going to work. Yeah, but, I, I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so right. what this is on intermission of the hockey game, I took my son's Nintendo switch and he has the old school ice hockey game from Nintendo. Yeah. And, right. and my buddy was uh, on the zoom call here. We, we could see him. I'm going to zoom in. So my buddy was playing the Nintendo switch remotely and so <laughs> we were playing a two player game online and then right. everybody in the zoom call is watching us play <laughs> ice hockey and we're doing that on the intermission of the hockey game <laughs> and that cool. was all through uh the usb capture uh through the kd play because i was casting wirelessly from my computer the hockey game and uh, with a USB capture device and Zoom. So the tricks are just really endless. What's, what's happening right now? And Andre, we talked a little bit about it, um, you know, just how this is like the new normal. I could see your feet, son. <laughs> this is my son. He's uh, trying to hide. He's trying to get something from the room. <laughs> so this is the new normal. <laughs> but, um, this, uh, this is the new normal of, you know, things that we've been doing a little bit for the last few years in the last 11 months are just happening rapidly and just truly, truly, truly becoming the new way of, of communicating. This is the new in-person meeting. This is yep. the new in-person gaming um, and, uh, and, and this is exactly what, uh, you know, it's happening in the gaming industry. I, I read an article that, you know, one player games are dead. Everything now is yes. online gaming. Yes. Um, I, I, uh, you know, I hear about it in the news with, you can walk some, with, um, with, uh, retail stores, <laughs> with, uh, retail online shopping is just, you know, of course, uh, taking over and, 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 um, you know, uh, unfortunately, uh, some of the brick and mortar department stores had to close and everything declaring bankruptcy here in the U S and, you know, but that was something that was happening slowly, gradually just being rapid, rapidly, uh, taking place in the last 11 months due to the pandemic. So, um, so yeah, just things like these are, it's, it's, it's so amazing what's happening right now. Anyways, that was kind of a, uh, 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 you know, uh, a detour there, but, um, so, any, any more questions or points, Scott? No, I was going to say, so, you know, we, we've just been getting creative being cooped up at home and everything else. Um, but being able to, I mean, I could annotate on that at the same time. Um, you could add multiple users. So, uh, one popular game, uh, um, among us. So as far as I know right now, you can only play that. I think it's just a phone related game. Uh, Among Us is uh, is an is iP yeah, it's a tablet yeah. game. It's not a PC game. So we could actually, and I did it on. Uh, we have a, a Twitch channel, so I could get four people casting to that BYOD device all from their oh. phones. Yeah, and show four people playing together. It's kind of funny because you're trying to see where your other teammates are but focus on your screen, but be able to see everything on one big thing. So we've just yeah. been kind of playing around. I don't know how many times you would use that, but, you know, uh, I, adding the BYOD to it or like even when we do demos, um, I'm sorry. I that, was something, my that was something that um, we, uh, my son just corrected us. He said, no, it is a PC game also. Oh, it is? Okay. But, okay. Uh, but same difference. And, and that was something we were selling in um, the home market our MLV four by two for more high frame rate games um, as uh, people would have like a home theater room and they'd have the multi viewer and everybody all four like friends would come over with their playstations or Xboxes and they would play uh, Fortnite. They were all doing yeah. Fortnite sessions on a big, on a large screen that way. And uh, that's, that's another way that, you know, kind of this, 
it's like a fun collaboration, you know? Yeah. So one other thing I'm going to go through and pull up as we're talking here. So when Jonathan and I do other demos, so I'm basically taking uh, an older iPad I have, casting out to uh, the BYD device again, capturing it as a secondary device for the Zoom call. Um, and we do demos of different items where I could show you now how, you know, what a, what our key digital app, uh, sorry, Katie app looks like a free app off of the iTunes store. So real quick that you can actually see the feedback. So when I'm talking to you and I say, Hey, Andre, you want to hit the device button? You could see that I actually touched the device button, go through. It's going to show me my, uh, four by one that I have, uh, set up on, uh, the network itself. So, or even demo mode, I can go through, show you a couple examples of, uh, a 16 by 24. So it's kind of cool because now we're just using it in a different way. I'm just casting to it and capturing that information. Andre, um, do you have yeah. a USB capture device? Yes, we, we have it, but we usually uh, use it, uh, as I told you before, yeah. uh, for the uh, Facebook um, uh, sending video to uh, I know YouTube, some 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 other sites, yeah. just for just for that reason. Because now when you do some some video, you know, when you do some records, I don't know, um, you have to use uh, se several several streams simultaneously. Yeah. For that reason, we use uh, this USB uh, USB record device. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, that's. Uh, I think that because you have your demo there, I saw you using your iPad to adjust the camera with the KD yeah. app and control your presentation switcher, and uh, maybe adding that USB capture for doing exactly like what Scott just showed. Scott, um, in fact, are you? I, I hope it's not too late to ask. Do you want to show Andre that awesome trick where in Zoom you could share two cameras at the same time? So you could um, do is that a possibility today for us? Yeah, real quick. I have let me just get the secondary. So Andre, uh, maybe you haven't seen this yet, but uh, okay. we have um, uh, Zoom now is doing a um, they allow you to have one camera like the camera you, we're using right now. And when Scott connects his USB capture device, we don't have to lose him. Uh, uh, so, uh, oh, you, so you, you, you want me to do talk? You yeah, want me to do talk? You want me to do talking head or? No, uh, do um, like, sh so you're talking, but then uh, if you show the USB capture at the same time. Oh, okay, okay. Hold yeah, on. So, so what it'll be, Andre, is let's say for example you want to demo your presentation switches yeah. and you're doing it and it looks great on the cam usb but you want that ipad screen to be like it's yes. own thing on yes. the um in in your meeting as well so uh so this is all possible really easily just with the addition of a usb capture device and uh the use of zoom um and um and actually uh we're working uh on i guess it's okay to say we're working on our own usb capture device at key digital as well it, you know just the shift and everything this kind of tool is so useful we think it's going to be really really professional uh it's going to be unique unlike anything else in the market and uh so you're you're going to love this thing when when it comes out it should be out probably in the middle part of this year so we'll start talking about that a little bit more as it comes closer so Scott, we see you, either you or the home screen. Yeah, I'm just, doing the yep. I'm just doing the, the camera switch now. So okay. um, I actually have the capture device as my secondary okay. USB device. And then I have my normal, hold on, either camera device. And it's just, I don't know, I'll send you documentation, but me and Jonathan put one together of yeah. how to access that in the share option where you click on share screen and then there's an advanced feature option yeah. where you can go through a select advance and then there's a new icon there that says content from second camera. Yeah. So, yeah, we did that uh, on a previous, um, oh, here we go. Okay, wonderful. So right now 
we're able to see Scott, his, his video of his face and you know everything, plus another camera from Scott, which is the USB capture device. So this is, uh, this is a way to do like a really effective demo. And then now Scott could cast to his BYOD. And, Hold on one uh, second. <laughs> yep. So, uh, so there we go. Um, just really effective ways of showing the power of these systems. Yeah. Um, and uh, Andre, we'd love to see more of the projects that you're involved with. Uh, we'd love to see more of, you know, the line diagrams, the images. What a beautiful and grand room that was. Um, the rack images, uh, you know, we, we'd really love to see all of that stuff. When, uh, when you have those, please feel free to send them to Scott, myself, and we'll, uh, we'll post them online and tag you guys. Maybe even doing a few case studies, which would be really, really beneficial there. Um, would, be, uh, would be a good way of promoting what we're all working on together. Okay, Joe. Uh, I'll talk to the dealer if we have possibilities to just share the images and uh, his um, drawings online or on your website and so on. Because uh, I'm not really sure that we can do it. Uh, yeah, no problem. To the, full, to the full audience. Yeah, if we can't for that project, that's fine. But for others, uh, you know, that'd be fine. And even we could write something up that just talks about the needs of the customer, but doesn't mention the customer's name. You know, that's okay. even a possibility. Um, well, guys, this has gone uh, well over a standard <laughs> cup of coffee. Either uh, the, I need, the, a, I need the, a second one. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. The, the waiter, the waitress is going to come and ask us for another order here soon if we yeah. don't, uh, wrap this meeting up. Is there anything further that uh, any of you guys would like to add? No. Well, well for me, I, I was kind of pumped that Andre came on to, to speak to someone, you know, like yesterday when we had that brief conversation of learning you know, a complete different operation. It's like, you know, when we learn about history or whatever, it's like, now it's like, we're hearing a completely different look, how your market is and everything else. So this is, I, that part was interesting, you know? Yeah. So much yeah. we could learn that way. And, uh, you know, um, we used to be able to get this from trade shows, ISE. Um, we, there's a new update from ISE. Why don't you, uh, before we wrap up, can you tell us about that, uh, Andre, or what was the latest yeah. word from ISE? They, just yesterday, they sent an email saying that probably it would take part, but they, they, they can't say at the moment that it's done. They say, well, we are not really sure. So could you give us, I don't know, some, um, some of your thoughts, will you go, uh, will you take part? How do you think? Uh, what if we'll do it online? Will you go and so on? So probably they don't say that it's um, a kind of stated fact. Well, they 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 can't say it uh, at the moment. Yeah. So we just can can wait and hope. Well, it was a really good move by them to gauge people's um, yeah. interest. You know, last uh, 2020, yeah, uh, ISE was the last trade show that happened, and it was a significant decrease in attendance because of the that was very early in the stages of COVID-19 pandemic yeah. and um and now the move from Amsterdam to Barcelona was for the reason of having a larger convention center and uh so you know if only a fraction of the people show up and you're in this really large space you know, it makes it, yeah. um, it makes it, well, A, more space is actually better for COVID-19, I yes. should say, for the purposes of social distancing. So there's, there's kind of a benefit there. That's the, the glass half full perspective. But, um, but yeah, it was a really good move by them. That was a great insight by you to tell me about that, because I, I, I hadn't opened that email yet on, um, you know, how they're kind of seeing what are the thoughts of the people that are most important, which is the attendees and the exhibitors all right, you know, without attendees and exhibitors, you don't have much of a trade show. So, um, yeah, thanks. Uh, Andre, anything from you? Or where, where can people come to uh, find what you're doing and, uh, and uh, connect with you uh, if they're in your market? Uh, well, we have our own website, simpledistribution.ru. Uh, so we, we have all the news, all the information. Uh, we have um, our channel on YouTube, Simple Distribution. 
we shot uh, short videos on I don't know on some on some short story. For example, uh, new um, I don't know uh, wall plate or you know, a new switch, new HDB extender or whatever. Some short stories, some explanation. I don't know to, to show how it works, to explain some, some things, how it should. I don't know how you should handle it and so on. So um, you, you can go there and watch it. Yeah. Wonderful. Thanks. Thanks for uh, joining us today. Uh, I'm Jonathan Ferry, National Training Manager. I just wrapped up a project. It's posted online now where um, I made a sh short video of how to set the IP address. So you had actually brought it up earlier <laughs> today, uh, Andre. I made a short video. It's on the KDMS page. That and, uh, and our tech support team has really loved it. And I think you'll uh, be able to use that as well. Uh, sounds like Scott, you're, 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 it's a good one. I was going to say that came in <laughs> handy the other day because I was juggling uh, a Zoom call with a dealer in another phone call. And I had somebody go through and they were like, hey, I'm scanning the network. I don't see it. So I'm like trying to respond back. Hey, yeah. you know, what's it set? It's it still on the default. Did you give it a static IP address? And then I was like, hey, this might be helpful. And boom, boom, I sent the video. And he's like, you thanks. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, so I'm glad it's worked. So that's what I've been up to. So that's all I wanted to put out there. Uh, Scott Craig, National uh, uh, Tra uh, Sales Manager for uh, the Northern <laughs> US and uh, or whatever country we're talking yeah. about today. And uh, again, Andre Kulikov of Simple Distribution in Russia. We thank you all for watching us today. And uh, we look forward to seeing you all on the next cup <laughs> of coffee. We need a refill. <laughs> of coffee with key. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Thank you very much, guys. It was a nice show.